What's up, everybody? Well, today I thought I'd go ahead and introduce to you another vacuum that currently resides in my vacuum collection. Yes, it's another Kirby. I have neglected to show this vacuum in a full feature length video because I was waiting and waiting on the perfect time where I can get this totally cleaned up and looking as original as I can, but since the time that we're currently living in, I currently have nothing else better to do. Why not just film it as is right now? Here I present to you my Kirby Generation 5, or G5 for short. I bought this at a local pawn shop in my area for only $50. And this is how it came with or how it came looking. It looks actually in fairly good condition with the exception of, of oxidized metal, which kind of is a thing with these older aluminum vacuums as they age, the metal kind of tends to oxidize. But I did do quite a bit of things to this vacuum when I got it. Well, for one, the the transmission was actually actually went bad, so I did get a brand spanking new tech drive for this, which unfortunately, because of how I'm not too sure if Kirby went cheap or some, but I bought a replacement transmission specifically for a G5, and that's what it was listed on, on the listing, as a replacement transmission for the G5. But unfortunately, it does, it does not come with the color correct switch plate and everything. And this is one of the newer transmissions that got the plastic gears, so it is a lot quieter of a transmission, so it just sounds like you're newer Centria or Avalier style transmission that barely makes any noise, which is a nice plus. But unfortunately you get this yellow colored drive switch like a G6. As you can see, the black colored switch plate is basically like what it would come on a G6. It's not green like the, like the G5s normally have. And which, believe it or not, I actually have the original switch plate right here. As you can see, this is what the switch plate normally looks like. I am trying to do a modification to this so I can get this to fit securely in its place because for now it does work, but, but this little piece here likes to slide off and, and it doesn't hold the, the the can gear off all the way because when you're in neutral, sometimes you get that awful sound for for when the transmission will start ratcheting, moving forward and back. And m m partly that is because of this switch plate has worked itself outwards over time and it doesn't hold it entirely into neutral. It'll still think it's going into drive. So I'm gonna have to find a way to fix this. I'm probably gonna use a couple C clips to try and hold it back as far as I can just so it'll it'll keep the transmission as in neutral as possible and when I find a permanent solution I'll put this back on the new transmission but for now it works fine with the G6 switch plate as it does it's just right now you gotta put up with the drive selector being yellow instead of green at least I was able to retain the original colored hubcaps. But, because I was able to get that switch plate and these hubcaps from a junkyard transmission. So, this is my go to try and keep it as original as possible. But ran into a little bit of a roadblock on the way there. And she does have its original hubcaps for the front. Anyway, right here, you'd have your nice long 32 foot power cord. This headlight lens does 
flip up. So you can get access to your newly designed belt lifter. Simply pull that out to give you a little bit of leverage to move the belt lifter around. And you move this little switch to the left and your head comes right off. All right, there's your fan impeller. It is a little bit chewed up because it's got quite a bit of use out of it. This is double insulated. Right here is a, a speed control switch. This is actually so the motor can operate at high or low speed depending on which, which attachment you hooked up. When you get the vacuum attachment hooked up, it actually will press the low speed switch right down there. So the vacuum will operate at low speed so it's not overly unbearable to push and pull because it has too much suction. What that's what the high speed switch on the top is for is when you attach your hose, the motor will operate at at full speed because this is a direct air based vacuum, meaning all the suction that comes from the head goes through that fan and blows into the bag. But since these were known to produce more airflow than they do suction, Kirby put this high speed switch to basically make the vacuum operate at its highest speed that it possibly can reliably. And you get, you make up for lost suction in tool mode that you can't normally get with, with most direct air vacuums. I'm gonna put the belt lifter back on. And this is one of the later models of the G5 that has the brush wheel performance indicator. Back when Kirby first made vacuums, or at least introduced the brush wheel performance indicator on the Heritage series, and the G3s and G4s as well, the brush roll performance indicator was actually on the left of the cleaner head instead of on the right, like these newer ones, the G6, Ultimate G, Centria, Avaliers, all of them, all have the brush roll performance indicator on the right. The reason why Kirby went this route is because a lot of owners were complaining about the vacuum not being able to edge clean as well on the left side, because it's easier to edge clean on the left th compared to on the right because this giant outer bag is, is exposed, so it's hard to get underneath things with this big thing in its place. So early in the G5's production lineup, there were actually models that did not come with a brush roll performance indicator on either side. Why, I'll never know. I do know my uncle on my dad's side of the family has a G5 himself, and his is one of the ones that doesn't have the brush roll performance indicator. And that vacuum was one of the few vacuums that got me into these G5s, or at least all Kirby's in general, because any of the G series are basically the same. They Kirby just changed the looks and color schemes of them to make them appear appeal to 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 buyers. But, yeah, my uncle's G5 and my aunt on my mom's side of the family had a G5. I mean, that was the same lady who has a Electrolux Epic Series 3500 SR. Which, that's what got me interested in these higher-end vacuums. One of them being these older Kirby's. Especially this G5 with this nice dark maroon wine, wine kind of colored to it. But anyway, let's go ahead and flip this machine on its side to show you the brush roll. You see right here, it's got the newer style oblique stiff brush roll. The bristles are incredibly stiff, which really increases agitation. And they call this the oblique brush roll mostly because the bristle design is actually spread across the circumference of the entire brush roll. And right here, this little tab right here is actually a little magnet that allows your brush roll performance indicator to light up. Basically, it senses little magnets going across right here, this little, this little pickup, and it runs through the brush roll performance indicator. And while your brush roll's turning, that will illuminate green to let you know that your brush roll's spinning. If it's not illuminating, then you have issues with your brush roll not spinning, mostly from issues and complications with the belt. 
So right here is your model number, G5D, 120 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. This is a seven amp motor that is double insulated, household use only, made, for, made in Cleveland, Ohio. So this works very great. So for now, let's go ahead and show this thing to you running. Let's go ahead and release the cord off right here. The cord is in very nice condition. This is in fact the original cord. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And we'll go ahead and turn this thing on and demo it for you guys. Your power switch is down here at your foot. As you can see, this thing has an upgraded LED light bulb. Carpet height adjustment.
fits underneath there, but the big fill tube gets in the way. This is a little metal tab that you can actually slide to the right and it can only go up so far to basically move over floor thresholds if you have it. Which most of the time I like to leave this right in the center so it'll lie totally flat. Or, or sort of. Right, this upgraded LED headlight is. I gotta go the lights real quick. See that? That's just how bright it is. Almost reminds you of the Sentry and the Avalanche with its factory LED headlight. Before I end the video here, I'm going to show you this thing in attachment mode. Unfortunately, I do not have its all original attachments on this thing. So for, for, for the sake of the video, I actually borrowed my attachments for the Ultimate G Diamond Edition. They will fit on basically any G Series Kirby, whether it be a, a G3, G4, G6, G5, Ultimate G... Sentry or Avalier, they will all fit the same way. As you can see, when you put the hose on, the little plastic tab actually presses one of the one of the safety switches for the motor, in this case the top one, which that allows the motor to operate at its highest speed, so you get the most suction for using your hose. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. It does have pretty decent hose suction. It's not the best, but but it's pretty respectable for direct air. So let me go ahead and show you all the attachments that that you get right here. Just to just kind of give you an idea of what what these come with. Right here is a special little tool that you can hook at the end, and it gives you a suction relief valve. I like it because it feels a little bit more ergonomic. And you can hook up your two extension wands. Oh, I think there might be a plug, a plug in this hose right here. You could actually use this piece as, that's your bare floor tool. It could also work good on low pile area rugs. Right here's your, your crevice tool. Right here is your dusting brush. Right 
You have your upholstery tool right here. Actually, to be honest, it would work much better without this hand tool. And move over, you have a much wider area upholstery tool right here. This is mostly used for cleaning your bed mattress. The brushes here aren't actually detachable. So you can detach them right there, and you can just use this without. Suction's incredibly strong, it basically will suck it down to the carpet. Now let's just put this back. And the final tool I would like to show you is the zip brush. Basically, you attach it at the hose. You see it barely move it forward and the brush will start spinning. For right now. And while I unhook the hose, I'll just show you right here how long this guy takes to spin down. That's just to show you how well engineered this, this zip brush is manufactured. And even engineered too, because you'll never see a turbo tool take that long to spin down. And you also do have one more attachment. What this is for is while you have your floor head hooked up, or you, you can even have this used on your hose attachment too, but what this is for and what you're going to have to do is detach your little cord hooks at the head of the vacuum. Let me see if I do this right on camera. So what you do right there, and then you push this little broken tab for to hold your your outer bag on place in the handle. Push down here, that releases your handle from the vacuum. And then you can simply attach this little hand tool right to the base of the vacuum. And attach your cord, your bag, right into there. And now, you can use this as a portable hand vacuum. It honestly doesn't really, it's not really the best feature on this thing if you ask me because these vacuums are incredibly heavy to begin with and this is not something you would want to be lugging up and down the stairs so that feature to me is practically pointless i'm not too sure if kirby did did that on purpose just to be jerks or they wanted to make this in an all usage vacuum so they that's why they included that but didn't didn't take into factor that these things are incredibly heavy so frankly it'd be better using the tool set on the stairs compared to that hand that handle tool but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video of the kirby generation 5 Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and stay tuned. And don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.